We're glad to know you're still there and watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And uh, right now we're going to talk about a medical practice that may not be very familiar, or people may not be very familiar with. In fact, when I saw the name, first of all, I was calling it Chiro, Chiropracto. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not how it is pronounced. It is called Chiropracto. Uh, we have a Chiropracto in the house. And uh, today we're going to do everything uh, from definition to what services this kind of people uh, offer. We're glad to have uh, Dr. Paul Chima in the house. Good morning and welcome to the program. Thank you. Dr. Good morning, sir. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now I know it's Cairo, Cairo <laughs> which yeah. is which is not the capital of Egypt, but it's <laughs> Cairo <laughs> and Prato together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now tell us what a chiropractor is. Okay. So chiropractors first are health pr practitioners who detect discomfort in your body and help you fix them. So, for example, if you have a um, shoulder blade issue, you, had a, you have a um, new issue which is um, detritus, detritus or frozen neck, frozen hand, you can't lift your hand, or you have a um, stroke or you have wrist pain, yeah, they can detect which nerve has the issue, which spinal um, vertebrae has the issue and then correct it. So they, they manipulate bone, they know how to stop one to move the other. So that's just why they are prof professionals. And you don't have to pop pills? No, no. So I, I've been practicing for the past 11 years now. I've never, I've never told anybody to take pills, except it's critical, right? Mm -hmm. I will ask you, go to your doctor, and then they will, I will talk to the doctor to tell you what you need to do, and I will tell you the duration because you're under my own care. Mm -hmm. So that's... So how, how do you go about it? Is it acupuncture? Is it massage? Yeah, okay, so first of all, there's something we call bone setting, right? You crack and fix the bone, put it in position first, and then massage, work on the nerves. And then after that, you can now um, do your exercise or go to sleep or relax, take a good hot shower and then... When you say crack the bones and yeah. put it back in all that, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Because it's scary. Okay, so we have 206 bones as, as um, adults here. Um, if you don't meet a chiropractor in your lifetime, then that means you are only cracking about 50 of your bones if you crack. Like, you know, the one you do like this and all that. There are others that are meant to be handled by professionals. That's what bet chiropractors because we know how to manipulate people put them in shape right so some people have pelvic tilt some people have um, scoliosis lordiosis some people have um, neck pain some neck pain headache and not because you have in your in your, um, in your issues it's just because your bones are not aligned and they are compressing on your on your nerves so that can give you a lot of discomfort you, you talked about arthritis being yeah. part of the things that you yeah, handle. So exactly. what do you do? So um, some arthritis are not from the disc. They're from the back or from the, your foot. So, but you will not know because some... some but you feel it on the knee. Yes, feel it on the knee. So your knee takes the pressure, right? Your, your knee, because you walk, you run and all that, takes the pressure. So that's different from when the pain is coming from your pelvic or... Um, the pelvic controls the whole body from your brain to your hand the pelvic control is the center of all that's where that's where your your foundation is that's where your your body balances so if anything happens to the pelvic it's in, in the part that has more of the pressure and the nerve that is compressed if it's sciatical is if it's any kind of any, any part of the um the neurons yeah it affects that part of the body more so, for example, if it's on your pelvic and then it is compressing on your L4, it affects your, your left leg. If it's on your L5, it, it affects your right leg. That's if it's compressing on your um, sciatical nerve. But who do, who do, who do not know will go and keep working on your nerve? Yeah? But that is just a step to what the problem is. The most of it is from your vertebrae. That has to be aligned first. And once that is aligned, then... All right, you said if one does not meet a chiropractor in one's life, that means you've only cracked 50% of your bone. Explain no, not that 50 further. Bones. No, not 50%, 50 bones. 50 bones. That's about 10%. So explain that to us. So okay. what happens to the others? Are they redundant? Or? So you will, you will agree with me that most of our mothers who didn't have the opportunity to come over, 
to um, new life, when I mean city life, right? Have some back pain, they complain of waist pain, they have arthritis, arthritis they have um, headache, they have tilted head and neck, and you know, some of them bend down and all that. Yeah. It's not because their bones are so weak. Yes, that's what it, the layman will understand. But it's because there's just a tear, maybe during childbirth, maybe during when you're bending down, carrying children and going to the farm and, you know, there's a tilt. Mm. That is normal. So I, I normally use this as an example. In, if we drive, we know how it is when your car is misaligned. You can't leave your tire, you can't leave your steering. If you do, to take it to one side. So that's what happens to the body. Except you realign it. It will always give you discomfort. Always, always give you discomfort. And it's normal. It's called civilization. So it's like dislocation, but it's partial. And it's only a chiropractor can fix it. Because if you come to me and tell me you have a headache, I know. Okay, for example, you say you have um, 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 what is this normal headache, um, migraine. I know the nerve. I know the vertebrae that controls that part of the body. And I know what to do. If you say you have pelvic tilt, if you say you wake up in the morning and you, ha you have pain, if you say you, you can't run fast, if you, if you say you can't walk fast, if you say you can't you know, do some things that you normally do because of maybe some pain, once you explain it to me, I know the nerve, the vertebrae, and the reason why you're having that. That's why we are in practice. That's why we are trained. So it's not everybody that has a kind of pain that is supposed to take pills. I'm not saying it's not good, but mm. some is just to correct that. No. Yes. So how useful, sorry, Nyamgo, how useful are these cracks that we do for ourselves? You know, you do this, you do that, you twist your mm. neck, we do that on a normal... How useful are they? Are they harmful in any way? Are they useful to us? Okay. Should we do that more? Yes, we should, but the thing is, I was telling somebody here, uh, um, there's something we do, there's, some, there's a way we hold people to crack them. So, if, for example, you're cracking L4 and you, can, and you don't stop L5, you're cracking the boot at the same time. So, if the compression is between L4 and L5, that means your dick is suffering and then the nerves that are on that L4, L5 is suffering. So, as a chiropractor, we know how to stop a particular um, vertebrae to crack this one. Right? Mm. So they are just like that. To take this as one, two, three, four, right? They are just like that. We know how to stop one to, to, to fix one so that um, two will not have issues. So these are things that you when know, we do, for example, you crack your neck, yeah? Mm -hmm. Those cracks is good because at that time it gives you some moment of relief. But the thing is, as a chiropractor, we know how to stop it so that that the, 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 the essence of it is that compression because it's compression on the nerve that's why each time you find out that people try to you know do their head like this or maybe they always do it it becomes a pattern for them mm. and um, subconsciously you do it not knowing not even knowing if people are watching them or not mm. so the, the thing is by the time you meet a chiropractor a chiropractor is trained to know how to stop all the vertebrae all the joints to fix that particular problem. So cracking yourself and all those people do is not bad, but the reason why you should go to a professional is because they know how to not damage or not escalate the problem. They know how to fix that particular problem. Yeah, you're sounding like you're coming fresh and straight from Igbobi. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, yeah. so, so tell me, mm -hmm. um, is your work with the bones um, only with bones that are not broken, or if you, if someone has a broken bone, mm -hmm. you can also work on it. Okay, so it, it depends on the level of fracture or broken that the person you know has. So um, some practitioners, which are um, the um, um, orthopedic surgeons, right? They will tell you that after I fix this bone go meet a physio or a chiropractor because they will help you so what they do is fix that broken bone so this is a factor between mm. right they, they fix it and then you go to a chiropractor to fix the joint mm. so that would happen when you're already moving so the place of a a, a chiropractor is there the place of a, a physiotherapist is there and the place of a surgeon is also there so these are different 
people who work on bones, who have different things they do for the bone, who help you, you know, in different stage of the accident or whatever it is you're working, you're working on. But if there's no fracture, the chiropractor can come on, can come in at any time. Whether it's you're supposed to go for surgery, whether you're supposed to go for whatever it is, I advise everybody go to see a chiropractor first. I must tell you, listening to you, one may easily um, mistake a chiropractor for a physiotherapist. Yeah. Do you often get and that maybe confusion? Maybe a masseuse even. Yeah, so, you know, I suffered that when I started practicing in Nigeria. I studied in China, and when I came down to Nigeria, I, they, they were like, okay, I should stay back in China. But I said, no, I, I, I have people in Nigeria who need this service. As of 2017, so I came back to Nigeria. People mistaked me as a physio and as a masseuse. I suffered that for two, three years. And, mm. But because I know what I learned and I know what it will be for people. So it wasn't until 2020 that people started calling direct for a chiropractor. So they, they, so. I got I got that a lot of time, but the thing the thing is, I had that confidence that one day people will need this in Nigeria. How I, popular is it now in Nigeria? Wow. Are you many at all? So um, there is just few of us in Nigeria who is practicing, yeah. But as I when I came down to Nigeria, people didn't. There was no chiropractor. In fact, you a chiropractor. What we don't want to do? Want to practice? No, 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 no. <laughs> and then I tell them, I tell them the price. You'd be like, no, I can't pay this. I can only pay this. But right now, it was what that means. It's price. very expensive to get your services. Is that it's what not you're saying? Quite expensive. Reason is because there are people who are supposed to go for surgery that have have averted, right? They were supposed to go for surgery. They've, they've been booked for surgery. I can't count any of them. The last person who didn't listen to me, God forbid, I'm saying this, he died oh. because he, he he was not supposed to go for surgery. So the pelvic is the most delicate part of the body. The pelvic is the part of the body that cannot be replaced. So he had a pelvic issue. And I told him, you just, you just, for this problem I'm seeing here, you're not supposed to go for, the, go for surgery. But he said, my family said, my people has contributed and everything. At the end of the day. So what I'm saying is that the reason for chiropractors and for the reason for those of us that went and you know, studied it very, very well is because it's like a treasure. Right? It, it advanced a lot of pain, discomfort, sleep, um, headache, and, you know, stroke, and all that. So it helps you not spend more time in the, in the hospital, spend your time in drugs, and get your results. So how do you get prepared to be a chiropractor? Well, first, just learn about anatomy. Read about anatomy and understand anatomy. Once you do that, that's the first thing first. I, I, I'm a physiotherapist. I studied that was my first degree. So, but after that, and you know, I was introduced to chiropractic in 2016, I realized that that's the next big thing, and then I went for it. And today, I'm not practicing chiropractic and physio again. I'm strictly into chiropractic. What length of time does it take from the day a patient comes to you to the day that the results will start showing or wow. everything will be done? So I, w I would say this here. Yeah. When I started practicing, I was doing six sessions. Yeah, but there's something about when something is your purpose and when you are, you have to do that thing. So I reduced to three sessions. Now I fix people in two sessions. And I'm working How long hard. is a session? One hour. One hour. So yes. in two hours, you're fixed? Yes, you're fixed. Okay, now let me ask you this critical question that a lot of people will want us to ask. You also deal with the nerves. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's not related. I'm talking like a layman. Mm -hmm. But... The nerves, uh, people go for Botox mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, to correct breast, mm -hmm. to correct the, um, uh, the, the butt. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have erectile dysfunctions mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Those things have to do with the nerves. Yeah, do you yeah. do that as well? Okay, so for erectile dysfunction, first of all, is to make everybody understand that every organ in your body, be it your kidney, be it your digestive system, has a nerve that links it from the from the brain to your pelvic then to that or um, organ right so what chiropractors are taught to do is to understand first like i said um, 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 anatomy first is what is the link and which vertebrae controls that organ so the spinal the spinal cord is inside the spine, which is your vertebrae. 
So at each joint, it comes out for your hand, for everything. Uh, so when they are doing this surgery, the professional know what the, the um, 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 neurons not to touch. The blood vessels not to touch because he knows once he touches it, is the person is gone. Is that the person overbleeds and all that? So we also are taught how to. So I know how to. Doctor, it's just a yes. <laughs> it's just a yes or no. Okay. You, you want firmer breast? Yeah. You go to a, pro, a, a chiropractor. Yeah. You can go. You want firmer? Mm, no. Uh, if you want to have boys, don't come okay. to the you want, uh, you want to correct erectile dysfunction? Yes, come to the chiropractor. Mm -hmm. You yes, want bigger bombs? Do you want to take Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because no. all, all oh of us, goodness. we're just thinking his yeah. nerves and all that. Because yeah. so, but the anything, things, any, any, somebody comes to you and you, you firm it. Anything sexual disorder, come to a chiropractor. Because if you don't sleep well, you won't function well in any capacity, whether you're taking food, whether sleeping, whether having sex, whether anything. Even for the elderly men. Everybody. So, as a chiropractor, I don't believe that any age can make you not function well when it comes to sexual. Market don't come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because okay. we are taught how to see. So, you know that's what I'm, I was trying to tell people that when your when your nerves are compressed. Right, it can take okay. you years, mm. but it's all it's all we, 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 we wish you had more time to ask more I questions. I think you will have to come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Paul Chima, for yes. coming. Thank you. Chiropractor, yes. that is his profession. You, I guess a lot of people have not heard about it. Yeah. I didn't hear it uh, till like two days ago or Me one day neither. ago. So uh, it's learning. Every day you ha have the opportunity to learn something and we've learned today. If we have another opportunity, we'll bring uh, Dr. Chima back to the studio to talk to us. But for now, we have to let him go. So uh, we're so grateful for your coming here Thank today. you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we're supposed to give you the quote of the day. Mm -hmm. So... Do not always have control. We do not always have control um, over where life brings us, but we can control how we choose to respond to new circumstances. That's according to Leno L. Kendrick. All right. Thank you for your time today. It's been a beautiful time this Monday on The Breakfast with you. Join us again tomorrow for another episode. I am Maureen. And I am Nyamgul. Have a wonderful week. You too.